I'm going to be breaking down five of the best client gen generating lead magnets that aren't PDFs in this quick video. Hey there, my name's Em and I am the founder of Morris Bear Designs and the Clicks to Clients Method and I'm excited to walk you through this program. I've been helping coaches just like you for over 10 years launch and grow online businesses and I'm excited to share this method with you. So one of the things that a lot of us hear is you need seven or more interactions to actually connect with a client, to transform someone from a prospective client into a paying, loyal follower. So how do you go about that? Now you could spend all of your time dancing on social media and doing all of the things, making sure that you're posting five times a day or 20 times a day or all of the things that you really don't have time for, or you could be paying for retargeting ads, all of the things, that's a whole landmine that you really don't have the time or the energy to understand and implement in your business. Or you could create a lead magnet that actually does the process for you. So this is part of your simple sales machine. It is a great way <laughs> to actually bring clients into your world. So if someone stumbles upon one piece of your content and they only need to stumble upon one, but then you can actually transform them through that process into a client. So we take them on a journey generally through email. You can do this in a multitude of ways, which I explore inside the method, but generally email is the first place we start because it's the simplest to get started with and we love simple. I know that you are busy. I know that you don't have time to take on 50 different things and that's why we stick to simple first. You can always expand and scale later, but start with one thing in mind. So with that said, let's talk about what actually gets someone into your email funnel. And that's your lead magnet. Now, generally that is referred to as a PDF or some kind of guide. Now, I've talked about this a lot in the past on what you should actually be offering as a lead magnet. And I like to think that you really do want to dig into this deep. But a couple of people that I've spoken to this week have actually referred to the fact that they just don't want to do a boring PDF. So here are five of my favorite lead magnets that aren't boring and will convert potential clicks into clients. So let's go with it. Number one is probably my favorite and something that I'm working on personally here because I know that video can be hard to watch. I know that I listen to podcasts, I listen to YouTube without watching the sound and I like to be able to take in the audio before I can sit down and watch the content. So that's why we're starting off with podcasts. Now I've seen this done amazingly as both free and paid content where you can offer a private podcast that users can listen to and absorb all of the information that you're giving them on their socials, on your website, your method, your process, and download that straight into their ears. Now, this isn't always a lead magnet in the way that we would normally refer to it, but doing a private podcast allows you to have premium content for those who have subscribed to your email list. It's also a great way to integrate your podcast into a normal practice. Now, don't get scared. The podcast generating is actually quite simple. You don't need more than this little guy right here. You can record all of your audio straight on your phone. It's a great way to get started and it's a great way to connect with customers who are really busy. So if you have a market that you know are listening to podcasts or absorbing content that way while they're doing a hundred other things, mums, I'm looking at you. This is a great way to connect with our audience. It's a really popular way that you can get started really quickly and easily and it's completely different. It's made for your market. So that's number one. Number two is if you are more face-to-face -face or you're showing a process, video is a great way to do that. I personally love video because just like this video, I'll just switch on a camera and start talking randomly. 
<laughs> it doesn't need to be scripted. It doesn't need to be an overwhelming process. For example, in this video, I'm using a microphone here, my webcam and a couple of lights just to make it look good so that I can reuse this video later. That's a great way to actually meet people face to face. I found that when I started doing video calls versus client calls over the phone, the conversion rates and the connection that I had with customers absolutely went through the roof. It is amazing to see how people respond to you and it really does build that trust super, super quickly. So don't discount video. Again, pick up your phone, get to it. Most of the phone, most of the phones nowadays have amazing cameras. You don't need this giant DSLR or something really expensive and really fancy to get started. An open window and a video on your phone is exactly what you need. Shoot that, then get people into your world. You'll see a great conversion rate just from people getting to know you. Okay, so number three follows on with that theory and builds on with a webinar or a workshop. Now, these are really, really controversial still because people still do think that webinars suck. The thing is that someone learning from you from half an hour to 60 minutes is actually really valuable time with you. And what you're doing is not only transferring what you do one-to-one, -one, you're just making that available on a bigger scale. It would be just like hiring out an auditorium, filling a stage. All of that is just presenting and speaking to your people. You have to find them where they are. And if that means a workshop or a webinar online, either live or pre-recorded, this is a, still an amazing way to show people your process. And that's what this is all about, actually getting people invested in how you work and how you help others. Once they can see that, then the process to becoming a client is really, really simple. So these are still one of my favorite ways. And honestly, I have one on my own website at the moment at morrisbear.com forward slash webinar. And it's perfect. It actually converts really well and shows the process behind my ultimate coaching website template. It's amazing and it does a great job for me. So it's still one of my favorite methods to get out there. Number four, this one is something that I've seen a lot of recently and you've probably seen these all over your feed. Now, if you have got a social feed much like mine, you'll see $7 offers, $27 offers, $17 offers, all of this hullabaloo. And we'll talk about the seven number and the psychology behind it in a future video, but there is actually a reasoning behind it. Basically, what they're doing with these is using them to pay for their advertising budget. That's basically the entire basis of it. You'll find that there will be an upsell. So something of a higher value behind nearly all of these offers because that $7 doesn't go into their pocket. It actually pays to convert you through an ad. What you will find behind this process though, is that clients are really looking for more value from these lead magnets. And that's why number four is a planner or a checklist of some sort. So looking at my basis, I've actually put together a brand planner, which asks some questions about your branding, about your personality and about your clients. And you can use this to actually really dive into the work that we do before we do the work. This has always been part of my pre-work process that I give clients when we're working together on a massive project. But changing over to VIP days, I needed to get that information to my clients first and foremost before they signed up to working with me. So using that as a great way of actually capturing clients is fantastic. Not only do they get the value from the process that you provide, but you're also warming them up for the next step in your training. So what can you do with a client before the work that you do? I'm sure there is something that you offer that is done that you say when you first meet a client, we need to do this first. There is always 
something. There's always a process there. Can you make that into a checklist or a guide or a planner so that they can actually follow along and implement the steps, bringing you into their everyday life? It's a great way, again, to get people building that relationship with you. It's repetitive and it immerses them in the prospect of working with you. It is a phenomenal way to convert clicks to clients. Now, last up is another one that I personally use and love, and it is all over the internet at the moment. Thanks to sites like Canva, you can download templates. Now, these again can be either a small um, offer, so building on from that $7, that $17, all of those things, you can do something really, really creative here. But offering templates is a great way to work with you. So it could be something if you're working in a B2B space, so business to business, you could offer something that's, say, a lead magnet builder. (laughs) Completely meta, but it does amazingly work well social media templates, anything that relates to the work that you're doing, what is some way that you can package up that expertise and show it and really get them to actually use the information that you provide. Now, one of the ways that I personally do this is that I have a free Instagram link in bio template. Um, It's It took me not very long to make. I personally use it on my own website because I hate Linktree. And I think that all of the traffic going to your link in bio should be going to your website. So one of the ways I did that was offering this as a freebie. You can download it on my website. It is a great thing that you can just install. You start to see how my templates work and you can use that in your business already. It's a fantastic way for people to get to know your process again. All of this revolves around the fact that you are instinctively showing your clients or prospective clients at this point, your process and your methods of working with you. Having that as an underlying feature in your business is going to allow you that repetition and get people to know you. And that online is absolute gold dust. People want to know you, they want to like you, and they want to trust you. So all of these are a way to getting that whole process sped up. So with that said, those are my favorite five. What are you currently offering as a lead magnet? Are you, do you have a lead magnet? Are you stuck with that process and want to learn more? Feel free to leave a comment below and I will reply to all of them. But I would love to know what, if any, you would like to take forward in your business. Until next time, have a wonderful day and here's to supporting your big dreams.